finally did it. I finally went to the library. You can barely see me. I finally went to the library. I've been, I don't know why, but I've been like really intimidated about going to the library for the first time. I went in for the first time to get my library card and that went fine. Um, but I didn't venture past the like front desk area. Um, and for some reason I was like, this is so intimidating. I don't know my way around the library. Anyway, I went with my friend Sydney today and picked out a few books. So I thought I would show them to you. Um, first one, The S Word. I have watched a documentary um, that I believe was based on this book. So I'm really excited about reading it. Um, it was published in 2011. Anyway, I've heard good things and I'm really excited about it. I'm very interested, interested in the topic. And then we've got Angela Davis, Women, Race, and Class, um, written in the 80s. So I'm excited to read about this. Let me tell you the table of contents here. We've got a lot to cover in this small book. Um, the Legacy of Slavery, Standards for New Womanhood, the anti-slavery movement and the birth of women's rights, class and race in the early women's rights campaign, racism in the women's suffrage movement, the meaning of emancipation according to black women, education and liberation, black women's perspective, woman suffrage at the turn of the century, the rising influence of racism, black women and the club movement, working women, black women and the history of the suffrage movement, communist women, Racism and the myth of the black race, racism, birth control, and reproductive rights. And then last but not least, the approaching obsolescence of housework, a working class perspective. So this is only, how many pages is this? It's less than 250 pages and we're about to cover all of that. So that's going to be a hefty read. We've also got Evicted. Um, Poverty and Profit in the American City. I've been wanting to read this for probably a year now, and I just haven't committed to buying it because I've had other things um, in line. So I'm excited that I found this, and I don't have to buy it unless I love it. And then lastly, we've got Daisy Bates, um, civil rights crusader from Arkansas. She was a mentor to the Little Rock Nine, um, and... I don't know anything about her, so I'm going to learn. Um, so yeah, that's the library. That's the hall. Um, it's about to rain and storm all day, so I think I'm just going to drink tea and read all day. And I'm really excited because I have the day off and I don't have to be anywhere. And yeah, it's a perfect, perfect rainy reading day. <laughs> so sweet. And then she has some eggs in there because she's been sitting on them. I had a dream last night that a hummingbird was trying to land on my shoulder and it got caught in my hair and the wings flapping sounded like a helicopter. Whoa. It was crazy. That's a wild dream. It was really weird. I'm just little because I don't have anything oh, to so buy cute. a bunch. It's so cute. basil. Okay, I got basil, parsley. cilantro, parsley, and mint. The mint is doing great. She's like doubled in size already. The mint might take over, because yeah, that's an invasive guy. I know. I'll, I'll uh, keep her coming. Oh, it's so pretty out here. But I really, yeah, it's pouring rain. What a dream. And I'll, like, sunbathe out here, and it's... And it, because it, I think it just had been, like, bleached by the sun. That's nuts. And it was the shell of one, and... I, it was it, They're kind of terrifying. I had no idea that we had those in Arkansas, I know, period. I didn't but then... I was telling my dad about these mounds because there are these mounds and tunnels all over the yard and they've been really annoying oh me. Oh my god. And I There's one over here. Out what animal it was because I was like, it's too small to be a rabbit or a mole. Yeah. I couldn't figure it out. I thought maybe it was a snake. And then my dad was like, it might be crawfish, but they would have that's like nuts. mounds of dirt. And I was like, yeah, that's exactly what it is. And he was like, it's probably crawfish. And then <sighs> a couple, like maybe last week, Seth was watching a movie out here, and I was inside. Yeah. And he was like, Christina, come here right now. 
and I came out here and there was a live crawfish <gasps> walking across our patio. <laughs> They're terrifying. They are so That's scary. That's so weird. Yeah, I had no idea. I kind of hate it. I know, I do too. Apologies. Apologies for the mess. Um, it's the end of May. Today is May 31st as I am speaking to you and if you watched the whole thing you would know that nothing really that interesting happened this month. I feel like a lot of logistical things were done but that wasn't that interesting or important to document and remember. Um, and otherwise, it's just been kind of a, a go, 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 um, get things done mode type of month, which is good sometimes. But I am, I am going to be happy to have a new month, a fresh start, and yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see what June holds. I think it'll be good. Um, May was good. It was just a lot. It, it was a lot of, like I said, a lot of things to get done. It felt like the, the endless to-do list, which is all right. You gotta do it sometimes, you know? You gotta do it to them. Um, new things. Um, I'm starting a newsletter called The Sunday Paper, which is going to have its first um, release on June 4th. So if you would like to be reading what I'm writing, then you can subscribe to my newsletter. Um, I'll put the link in the description. Other thing that I've started, other little project, um, my sister Lainey and I are starting a secondhand vintage Etsy. So I will also be linking that in the description. I feel like this month was also the month of starting a lot of new projects and we're gonna see if that's sustainable for me or not. I'm excited about all of them um, and I think I have the the motivation to carry them on but it's just gonna be interesting to see how it all plays out. So yeah those are the new things. I don't think there's anything else that's crazy that's important. Um, yeah that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for keeping up with my life. I'll see you next month.